In the relentless pursuit of uncovering the mysteries of the cosmos, humanity has embarked on a quest that goes beyond time itself. We seek answers to age-old questions woven into the fabric of existence. Intriguingly, the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, has just glimpsed a structure predating the birth of stars, an object seemingly older than the universe itself. This discovery raises more questions than it answers. How could a structure exist older than our universe? Is the Big Bang Theory flawed? Join us as we embark on an odyssey guided by the revelations of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion-year-old structure await, and the journey to unravel cosmic mysteries has only just begun. In a distant corner of the cosmos, roughly 200 light-years away, lies an ancient star named H140283, nestled near the Libra constellation. This stellar traveler moves briskly through space, offering intriguing glimpses into its tumultuous past. Imagine a time some 12 billion years ago when our Milky Way was still in its infancy, absorbing a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. Yet what truly captivates our cosmic curiosity about HD 140283 isn't just its speedy journey but its astonishing age. Among the celestial entities we've observed, it stands as one of the oldest, earning the endearing moniker Methuselah Star, akin to the biblical figure Methuselah, who legend says lived for 969 years. Initial estimates pegged its age at a staggering 16 billion years, but the latest calculations suggest a slightly younger age of 14.46 billion years, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This revelation puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, deduced from the cosmic microwave background, hovers around 13.8 billion years. This conundrum raises important questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down. Figuring out the age of celestial bodies can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance. Like the sun, they're like eternal light bulbs, maintaining their glow, temperature, and size for billions of years. This makes them tricky to age date. Astronomers play cosmic detectives, using changes in brightness and color as clues. They match these with models predicting how stars change over time. One age giveaway is how fast a star spins. By comparing the spinning speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers figured out a cool trick called gyrochronology. Stars also reveal their age secrets through magnetic gossip. Flares and bursts of energy on a star's surface are like a star's youthful enthusiasm. As stars age, this show slows down. Astronomers, being the space sleuths they are, use advanced techniques like astroseismology. It's like eavesdropping on a star's inner conversations, listening to vibrations caused by waves traveling through its insides. These vibrations spill the beans on the star's age. For instance, applying this cosmic eavesdropping, astronomers roughly clocked the sun at about 4.58 billion years. Now let's revisit Methuselah star. The ancient aura around it isn't just random. Astronomers tagged it with a crazy old age by checking out its cosmic neighborhood. Stars can be split into categories based on how much bling or heavy elements like iron they have. Our sun is a bit of a metalhead, belonging to population one stars. Methuselah star, on the other hand, is like an old-school rock star from population two, rocking fewer heavy elements. It's the stellar bling that helps astronomers play cosmic archaeologists deciphering the age tales of these celestial beings. Now imagine a group of stars, the theoretical population three, which scientists believe might be like the universe's rare gems. While they're still hiding backstage and haven't made an appearance in our telescope spotlight, astronomers suspect these stars might be the rock stars of minimalism, containing almost no heavy elements. To understand this stellar lineup, let's rewind to the universe's early days after the Big Bang. Imagine a cosmos filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, like the universe's basic ingredients, about 92% hydrogen and 8% helium. In this cosmic symphony, the first actors on stage were the population three stars. In the grand cosmic saga, the early stars were massive and hot, burning through their cosmic fuel swiftly, transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants exploded, they scattered these heavy elements into the vast cosmic space. Next in line were the population two stars, 
forming a bit later but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were light on heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them danced through their stellar life cycles, bursting into supernovas and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. Finally, the population one stars, including our sun, emerged as cosmic latecomers. They formed from enriched gas clouds mingling with remnants from the earlier population two stars. Some of these population two stars also went out with a bang, contributing more heavy elements to the cosmic recipe. Now, the big question, does this stellar story throw a cosmic curveball at the Big Bang Theory? It's a head-scratcher, but here's the twist. Considering the uncertainties, there's a 70% chance that Methuselah star, the ancient celestial wanderer, could be somewhere between 13.66 and 15.36 billion years old. The lower end even aligns with the age of the entire universe. And there's a 30% chance that this ancient celestial wanderer's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Similarly, there's a 15% chance it's not just a little outside the box, but even younger. Imagine it like rolling a regular six-sided die and hoping for that elusive six. Statistically plausible, right? But regardless of these cosmic curveballs, what's certain is that Methuselah star is not just a cosmic veteran. It's the granddaddy of stars. We've managed to give it an age tag that's pretty darn precise. Now here's where it gets mind-bending. Instead of scratching our heads about whether Methuselah star could be a couple of billion years older than its galactic neighbors, let's flip the cosmic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Wrapping our minds around 13.8 billion years is like trying to fathom the vastness of space itself. If we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most spectacular New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the celestial bash until the last seconds of December 31st. Human recorded history? Well, that's merely a blip in time covering just the last 10 seconds. Our stellar detectives determine the universe's age by peering at ancient starlight, born a few hundred million years post-Big Bang. As the universe stretches, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, scientists declared a universal age of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the cosmic plot thickens. A cosmic whisper from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rajendra Gupta from the University of Ottawa brings in a vintage theory from 1929, crafted by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory throws a curveball, suggesting that as light particles called photons journey across the vastness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He thinks we can blend this theory with our existing idea of an expanding universe, creating a sort of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now fasten your seatbelts, because adjusting the universe's age to a whopping 26.7 billion years is no small feat Gupta adds another spice to the cosmic mix by combining the tired light theory with the concept of evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over the eons. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was just a mere 2 billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our cosmic math. Doubling the universe's age is like taking a giant leap in our cosmic understanding. But let's pause for a moment. Whether this new perspective becomes the cosmic norm is still up in the stars. Regardless of whether humanity's recorded history is a mere blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand scheme of the universe, one thing's clear. The cosmos is a treasure trove of ancient wonders and endless inspiration. Shifting our gaze to our cosmic backyard in the Milky Way, there's a captivating cosmic tango at play. Recent measurements hint that stars on the outskirts of our galaxy are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their counterparts in other galaxies. What's the cosmic scoop? Well, there are a couple of theories, and one whisper suggests that our Milky Way might be low on an invisible cosmic ingredient called dark matter, the elusive substance influencing the gravitational dance of celestial objects. There's a cosmic puzzle involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see, but that seems to play a gravitational tug of war in the cosmos. 
One possibility shaking our cosmic understanding is that maybe we've been looking at dark matter the wrong way. Our cosmic compass might be pointing in the wrong direction. Here's where the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite steps into the cosmic spotlight. It's like our cosmic detective providing intricate details about the dance of nearly two billion stars in our Milky Way. Think of it as a galactic choreography lesson. The satellite's precise measurements have led astronomers to rethink their cosmic choreography notes. Stars at the outer edges of our Milky Way seem to be taking it. Slow, challenging our old assumptions about their speeds. Now, how do star speeds spill the cosmic beans about a galaxy's weight? It's like gauging the size of a crowd by how fast people are moving. Astronomers, armed with Gaia's data, estimated the combined weight of our galaxy's gas, dust, stars, and that elusive dark matter to be around 200 billion suns. It sounds like a cosmic heavyweight, but here's the plot twist. It's about five times less than we thought. One theory to untangle this cosmic riddle suggests we might have been a bit heavy-handed with our dark matter estimates. Maybe, just maybe, there's less dark matter out there than we previously assumed. It's like finding out there are fewer ingredients in your cosmic soup than you thought. But hold on, weighing a galaxy is like nailing jelly to a wall, notoriously tricky. The Gaia data might have a few quirks, or our cosmic measuring tape might need some adjustments. Still, multiple research teams have joined the celestial investigation, and they all seem to be humming the same cosmic tune. If this cosmic revelation holds, it's like opening a new chapter in our cosmic physics textbook, a revolution that might make us rethink not just our own Milky Way but every star-studded corner of the universe. As Stacy McGaw, an astronomer at Case Western Reserve University, puts it, this could be a cosmic game-changer.